Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident and welcome to the application of trig and I'm looking at the area of a triangle. In particular, I'm looking at the examples now. I've just gone through the proof for the area of a triangle. So I'll encourage you to go through that video so that you can be able to understand how to prove the area of a triangle. So if this is your first time coming in contact with this channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel right now. Go on and subscribe and ensure that the notification bell is turned on. This will assist you in ensuring that every time I post a new video, YouTube is going to notify you. So it is a benefit for you. And remember guys, this channel is made with you in mind. So it is for those who are preparing for their final exams and for you, failure is not an option. So I'm here for you and i'm preparing these videos with you in mind so let's go quickly to this section it's going to be short and in there i'm looking at the examples for calculating the area of a triangle so what um is the formula or what formula do you use for calculating the area of a triangle so we are saying area of a triangle is equal to half a B uh, sine, I think it's half A. Let me use this half A B sine C. I'll check that. So, what is happening here? Just to recap, you'll be having a triangle like this, and in this triangle, you'll be having A, B, and C. So, I'm just doing a recap here, and we say this is small A. And opposite it's small b and opposite is small c so if you are saying the area of a triangle is half a b sine c let me look at that we are saying it's half a as you can see there is side a here and the side b now look at the angle that is formed so this is correct look at the angle that is formed by these two red lines they are forming an angle and this is the particular angle that they are forming and that is angle C. So this formula is correct. So what or how do you now use this? The question here says find the area of the triangle. So how do you go about? You look at this diagram. It says ABC is a triangle. And you can see that AB is 15 millimeters and BC is 25 millimeters. And we've got an angle B which is 76 degrees. So to calculate the area, you take this line here. You take that line, which is uh, A, B line, and you also take that line. If you look at these two lines, they are going to form or they are forming an angle. And that is the angle there that they are forming. So that's how you find the area of a triangle. Find two lines and the angle they form becomes the angle that you're going to use. So we are saying if you are going to find the area of um, this uh, this. Uh, triangle this is C this is small c why it is opposite to C see that and this side it is small a so if you're going to find the area it will be area is equal to half and now we say it is a and then the other one is C and then it is sine the angle that is formed is B I think that so quickly now to calculate the actual area which is equal to 1 over 2 times now a which is you can actually write it like this to say it's a b times and then b c and then sine you can say sine b or sine a angle b c it's also fine to do that then now to find your final answer it will be equal to 1 over 2 times now side a b is 15 times side b c is 25 and then sine 76 degrees see that and then you write the answer that's all and then you can use a calculator then to find that so now if i use the calculator here the question the answer will be 1 over 2 times 15 times 25 sine 76 and then equal to then it's 181 point if i'm writing to two uh, decimal places is 181,93 so you have got the answer being 181,93 but now look at this 
we are dealing with what? We are dealing with the units of millimeters. So you also need to express your answer in the relevant unit. So it's going to be millimeters squared. Area is in square millimeters. Why am I saying that? Look at this. We, melt, we multiplied here um, 15 millimeters times 25 millimeters. So you see, you've got millimeters times millimeters. So you will say millimeters times millimeters. Then it gives us millimeters to the power of 2. That's why the units are millimeters squared. So that's the answer that you get. Remember? Okay, let me look at this. Find the area of the triangle. Remember, remember, when you are finding the area of a triangle, you need to use, in this case, it's half A, B, uh, sine C. So now let's look at this triangle. Let's find the area of this triangle. So what are we given here? You are given side A, B is 18 millimeters, actually meters, and then side A, C is 33, and we've got angle B. Now, the most important thing is for me to have a scenario whereby I've got that line. Let me use my thick line. I can have that, and I can have that, and I need to have that angle. Now, the question is, I have one side, which is okay. There is the 18, but I don't have that side there then it gives me a problem now to say, now what do I do? Now, if it's like that, it means you cannot then use this. You can try to use other means. But there's something interesting here, which means I can, I need to go through other forms of finding this area of a triangle. Now, the first part is look at this pair. Now, I want you to go through the next coming lessons where I'll tell you the sine rule and the cosine rule. You will see how these things comes in all together. Now, look at this pair. What is happening with this pair? It's got the angle and the side. So if this is small b, that side is small c, and this side is small a. So when you get that pair, you now think along the sine rule. Are you with me? Why? Because there is an angle with the side. It's a pair. And then you remember the sine rule. What does it say? It says sine a over a is equal to sine b over b i'm just stating it which is equal to sine c over c so you need to know how to prove this also using i mean you have to prove the sine rule but as i say there are videos that i did where i'm proving the sine rule so you've got this sine rule here sine a over a is equal to sine b that is sine angle b over side b which is equal to sine angle c over c now let's look at these sides what i'm given here i've got the pair for b and sine b so which means here i can write this as the area of the triangle there being equal to sine my angle b is what 55 over side b is what is 33 see that now i have to choose the one that i'm given you can see that i'm given c there so, which means I will continue with C to say this is equal to sine C, which is sine C over, now side C is what is 18. So, I can just work on it from like that. Now, how do you solve um, for sine C? You cross multiply, meaning that multiplies that. And this multiplies that. That's how you simplify it. And as I said, we are going to be looking at that um, at a later stage. So when we cross multiply, what am I having? I'm having 33 times sine C. See that is equal to 18 times sine uh, 55. I think that then at this stage, I have to solve for sine c divide by 33 on both sides you can see that i don't want that 33 on the other side so that i can just remain by sine c so my sine c is equal to i can then use a calculator here to give me an answer which says 18 times sine 55 and then over 33 and then the answer will be must be smaller than a 1 it's 0 0.4468 now it's better for me to round it off maybe for the time being 
you can leave it even in four decimal places or three decimal places it will be 0 comma four four six eight let me take it to four zero comma four four six eight so that my answer will be even more accurate but remember my final answer i can leave it to two decimal places now how do i find angle c there my angle c there will be angle c is equal to arc sine remember it's arc arc sine 0 comma 4468 i getting that then this gives me my angle c what is angle c in this case again if i just bring in my calculator here it will be shift arc sine 0 comma 4468 and then that gives me the angle of 26 comma 5385 which is 26 comma 54 so it's 26 comma 54 degrees let me write that it is 26 comma 54 degrees which is 26 comma 54 degrees so i got now my angle c then i can come here and say this particular angle c here is what is 26 uh make it clear there 26 comma what comma 54 degrees now go back to the diagram I got this let me take this away now so I got this I've got my what I've got my angle my angle now remember the aim is to find what the aim is to find the area that's why I'm doing this so if I have got to find the area look at this now I've got two sides which is interestingly this side I've got that side which is already given and I've got that side which is also given but the problem is I do not have this particular angle remember it's side side and the angle besides formed but the good thing is I also got what I also got two sides these two sides now what you have to apply now next which is step number um, two is the sum of angles in a triangle remember it says what angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to what 180 degrees and what is the reason sum of angles in a triangle remember they add up to 180 so you can now see that how do you find angle A because that's what we're looking for there so angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus now you're separating now 55 degrees also, you're subtracting 26,54 degrees. You're subtracting these two angles that we're talking about here. So these are the two angles that you have to subtract from what? From uh, 180. So it will give me angle A. So what is angle A? It becomes, in this case, 180 minus the first angle minus the second angle, 26,54. And then it will give me what? um 98,46 so we've got 98,46 degrees what is it it is this particular angle here which becomes 98, uh, this is too thick for me let me write it properly which is 98,46 degrees i think that now i can find the area of this triangle it's easy now now what is the formula remember area of a triangle area of triangle a b c is equal to half now look at the sides i'm given the two lines the red lines form b in alphabetical order b c sine a just follow what is happening there is a b there is a c and then there is angle a which is equal to 1 over 2 times my B in this case is 33 um, just to be you know pardon my writing sometimes I write like I'm hanging on a tree you know times 18 sine my angle A now is what 98,46 so you don't have to force it it will come out naturally you just need to continue working ask yourself where is the question leading me so you don't have to master or kind of cram anything you just have to work as it comes 33 times 18 uh sine 98 
comma one four six and then that's it if you did it well equal to 293 am i doing the okay that's the area by the way it's half times 33 which is fine i've got 33 times 18 saying that is 293,768 two decimal places 293,77 so this is 293,77 units remember it's meters times meters here let me do it again 33 meters times 33 meters so a meters and a meter is what it's what it's meters squared or square meters that becomes the answer for the area so guys as i said the aim is to follow this particular formula we're back again here just to recap to say this is the area of a triangle and you need to customize it to any question that you're given the aim is to come up with two sides and those two sides they must form an angle so you'll have a side like this one you'll have another side like that one but those two sides the angle that they form is the one that you're supposed to use so that's how you find the area of a triangle so i'm going through this also looking at the uh, cosine what how to apply the cosine rule in a, in a given question how to apply the sine rule so watch the next questions and then i'll bring a practical exam paper which sometimes includes all these three and then you can see how you can pull it together we've come to the end of our lesson thank you